Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. Hope you have a refreshing beverage with you because we have a great day of baseball in store for you. We have a morning, evening doubleheader. And happy Mother's Day uh, to everybody. Pass that along to mom. Uh, so, we are starting a tournament that I've been talking about for a while. Uh, it is a 1981 tournament with payoff pitch baseball. But it's going to be a little bit different than a traditional replay because we're taking the combined records of all of the teams, slicing off the top four in each division and going at it. Round one is just a best of three, so you got to be good and you got to be fast. Um, round two will be the best of five division series, and round three will be the best of five uh, championship series before the seven game World Series. So, a lot of fun ahead of us. We got some teams that are involved in this tournament that were not involved in the 1981 playoffs but we're had pretty good seasons nonetheless. So we're starting today with the American League Eastern Division. This morning, we're going to play game one of the best of three between the number two and number three seed in the American League East. It's the Baltimore Orioles at the Detroit Tigers. Tonight at 6 Central will be the four seed New York Yankees at the, I'm sorry, the one seed Milwaukee Brewers at the four seed New York Yankees. I'm going to show you a visual in just a minute to kind of clear everything up. So this morning, it's the Orioles at the Tigers. Tonight, it's the Brewers at the Yankees. And we will get the American League East off to a good start today. Morning, evening, doubleheader. Very exciting. All right. The pitching matchup, as you might suppose, a good one. In game one between these two titans of the American League East, Jim Palmer is on the mound for the visiting Orioles against Jack Morris for the homestanding Detroit Tigers. But before we get to those lineups, let's take a look at how the tournament will work. Don't forget to check out channel membership. The link is in the description for this video. With channel membership, you get discounts on the secondary store, an incredible free gift that is about ready to launch. And, and I'm going to talk more about that. And, um, Discounts on the secondary store, access to members-only videos, and this incredible free gift. Incredible. Been working on it for months, and it's almost ready. We're almost here. All right, so let's take a look at the tournament and the starting lineups for today's Game 1, Baltimore at Detroit. So here's what we have. We have your top four teams in the American League East. Uh... So the one seed and the four seed face off, but they're best of three. So we're going to be in the Bronx for game one. Then we're flying to Milwaukee for game two, and if necessary, game three. That starts tonight at 6 Central. This morning, right now, it's Baltimore at Detroit for game one, and then we fly to Baltimore's Memorial Stadium where the Tigers will face the Orioles in Baltimore for Game 2, and if necessary, Game 3. These are your top four teams. The Red Sox, Indians, and Jays are left out of the tournament. All right, let's get down to business. <clears throat> four, excuse me. For the visiting, and these are not, of course, as played lineups, but they are lineups commonly used by these managers, and that's how I'm going to play this tournament. These lineups are often used, especially late in the season, by these managers. So it's Al Bumbry leading off in center, Rich Dower betting second at second base, Ken Singleton betting third and right, 
Eddie Murray batting third, batting fourth, he'll play first. Terry Crowley bats fifth, he's the DH. John Lowenstein bats sixth, he's in left. Doug DeSense bats seventh, he's playing third base. Dan Graham bats eighth, he'll catch. And Lenny Cicada bats ninth, he'll be at short. On the mound, it's Jim Palmer. Uh, in 1981, he was 7-8 and eight with a 3.75 earned run average. And he gets the nod in Game 1 for the O's. For the home standing, Detroit Tigers' Alan Trammell leads off at short. Kirk Gibson bats second in center field. Steve Kemp bats third in left. Richie Hebner bats fourth. He'll play first base. Champ Summers bats fifth. He's the D.H., Lance Parrish bats sixth, he'll catch. Rick Leach bats sev seventh, he's in right field. Tom Brookins bats eighth, he'll play third. And Lou Whitaker bats ninth, he will play second base. On the mound, it's Jack Morris. In 81, he was 14-7 and seven with a 3.05 earned run average. Al Bumbry going to lead it off. I've got my fast action cards at the ready. Got a whole stack of them ready to go here. And I've got my 2D6s and 2D10s. We're ready for payoff pitch baseball. Bumbry steps in the batter's box. Morris deals. And Bumbry swings and he lifts one to center field. Kirk Gibson is under it. And he pounds the glove and makes the catch for out number one. And our tournament is underway. Here's Rich Dower. Morris deals to Dower, and Rich Dower swings, and he pops it up. It's a jam job pop-up. Tommy Brookins in fair territory is going to make the catch for out number two. Kenny Singleton comes to the plate. He's the right fielder in today's game. Morris winds and delivers to him, <clears throat> and Singleton... Hits one in the air to right. This is Rick Leach over by the foul line. He's going to make the catch for out number three. Bottom of the first coming. The Orioles got nothing. And the Tigers coming to bat. Palmer will face Trammell, Gibson, and Kemp for Detroit. In inning number one, the pitch from Jim Palmer is a ballpark result. And we got to check the... Tiger Stadium card for that one. It's an 03, and that's going to be a wheelhouse result for Alan Trammell. <clears throat> See if Tram got this one. He drills it to left center, and this one's going to get off the wall in left center. Bumbry's got to run it down. Trammell around first. He's going to cruise into second with a leadoff double. All right, Gibson comes to the plate. Chance to put Detroit up early. Palmer, the stretch and the delivery. And Gibson draws a walk. Two are on for the Tigers with nobody out in the first inning. Here's line drive hitting Steve Kemp. Double play depth for the Baltimore infield. The stretch by Palmer and the delivery. And that's going to be a wheelhouse result for Kemp. It's a hanger to Steve. And it's a line drive base hit. Let's see what happens here. This is to center field. Drops in front of Umbry. Around third comes Trammell. He's going to score. It's one nothing Detroit. Gibson is going to go to third. And there's still nobody out in the first inning. Coming to the plate now is D.H. Richie Hebner, the Grave Digger. Double play depth still for the Baltimore infield. The stretch by Palmer, and it's going to be more trouble for Jim. This is another wheelhouse result for Hebner. And Richie bounces one to short. <clears throat> this goes to Kiko Garcia. Kiko flips to Dower for one. The relay to Murray, not in time. Hebner beats the rap at first. Kemp retired 
scoring from third, Lenny Sakata, excuse me, Lenny Sakata at short. Gibson scores from third. It's 2 0 Detroit. There's finally one out, and the Baltimore bullpen is going to get going because in a best of three tournament, you can't wait around too long. Uh, so that's going to be Sammy Stewart starting to throw for manager Earl Weaver. Weaver and Sparky Anderson facing off in this one. So we got Hebner at first with one out. And Champ Summers coming to the plate. The Tiger DH Palmer, the stretch and the delivery to Champ is a base hit for Summers. This goes to left field. Stopping at second will be Richie Hebner. Not a lot of speed, but the Tigers do have two base runners on. Two on with one out. And here's Parrish. <clears throat> Weaver busting out the Chester Fields early in the Baltimore dugout. The stretch by Palmer in the delivery. We have a defense check, and that will be for the right fielder, Kenny Singleton. Um, Kenny Singleton is a C. So let's see what happens here. Gonna do a run to 44. That's gonna drop for a hit. It does drop for a hit. And this will score the man from second base. That's Richie Hebner. And it's 3 nothing Tigers on a base hit by Lance Parrish. Rick Leach comes to the plate. This may be Palmer's last batter. He may not get out of the first inning. Stewart looks ready in the bullpen. Double play depth for the Orioles infield to pitch. Is more trouble for Palmer. Another hanger. Leach drills it. It's a base hit. Ah, stopping at third will be Summers. The bases are dripping with Tigers. Summers at third, Parrish at second, Leach at first. Here comes Earl Weaver, and they knocked Cakes out of the box in the first inning. Sammy Stewart's going to take over on the mound and try and stop the bleeding. Palmer only got one out. He allowed five hits. He walked one. He's allowed three runs so far. The infield is going to be in at the corners now for Brookins. But Stewart really needs a pop-up or a strikeout. In 1981, Sammy was 4-8 and eight with a 232 earned run average in 112 innings. He's a right-hander, of course, facing Brookins. The stretch by Stewart and the delivery... Is a base hit, and it's going to get into the gap for Brookins. The merry-go-round begins. Summer scores. Parrish is going to score from second. They're waving Rick Leach around third base. He's going to be, he's going to score on a bases-clearing triple by Tom Brookins that puts the Tigers up 6-0 in the first inning. Lou Whitaker comes to the plate. Weaver can't believe it in the dugout. Stewart, the stretch. The infield is in for Baltimore. The pitch to Sweet Lou is drilled by Whitaker and more trouble for the Orioles. Going to get over the head of Al Bumbry and one hop the center field wall. He corked that one. Brooken scores. 7 nothing Tigers. Whitaker around second, heading to third. The relay is going to be late, and Whitaker is safe sliding with a triple. Back-to-back -back Tiger triples put them up 7 nothing. They have batted around. Here's Trammell. The infield stays in. The pitch. <clears throat> Base hit for Trammell. This goes to left field. Drops in front of John Lowenstein. Second hit of the inning for Trammell. 8 nothing Detroit. And Kirk Gibson comes to the plate. More action in the Tiger bullpen as Stewart not off to a good start here. 
It's Dave Ford, and that's going to be it. Dave Ford throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Alongside him, Mike Flanagan. <clears throat> Lefty-righty double-barreled action for Earl Weaver. Here's Gibby. The stretch by Stewart, and the pitch to Gibson is drilled by Gibson, and it's more trouble for, for Baltimore. It's drilled into the gap. They're going to wave Trammell around third. He's going to score. And Gibson goes to third with the third triple of the inning for Detroit. Eight nothing Tigers. Nope, oh, excuse me. Nine nothing Tigers. I got to take my shoes and socks off. Here's Steve Kemp. The infield is back. The delivery by. Stewart to Kemp is ball four. First and third, infield at double play depth. The bleeding continues for Baltimore. Here's Hebner. Stewart delivers. He swings and hits it to center. Um, let's see if Gibson is going to tag at third base. Um, and he is going to tag, and he is going to score. It's a sack fly for Hebner. Two, four, six, eight, ten runs in the first inning for Detroit. Here's Champ Summers. Two down, finally. The pitch by Stewart is ball four. E oh, wait a minute. Yep, he walked him. Two are on, two outs, and Parrish comes to the plate. Tiger fans going nuts. Stewart, the stretch, and the pitch is drilled by Parrish. This is more trouble for Baltimore. It's off the wall in left field. Around third, scoring is Kemp. Going to third is Summers. And the bleeding continues. Here's Leach. 11 to nothing in the first inning. Here's Stewart dealing with Leach. And he walked him. Bases are loaded, and that's going to do it. We're going to get Flanagan. All right, Mike Stewart is done. You can stick a fork in him. Mike Flanagan coming on. He'll face Brookins. <clears throat> the stretch by Flanagan. The bases are loaded. Two outs, however. And the delivery. This is swung on by Brookins and hit to right. Not deep. Singleton pounds the glove and makes the catch for out number three. But a disaster in the first inning for Baltimore as 11 men cross the plate. 17 batters reach or come to the to bat in the bottom of the first. We go to the second. Your score is Detroit 11 and Baltimore nothing. Don't forget tonight, 6 o'clock Central, we have game one of the series between the Yankees and the Brewers. That'll be Milwaukee at New York. Caldwell and Guidry matching up in that one. Morris to Murray, Crowley, and Lowenstein for Baltimore. They got to chip away at this mon at this mountain. And the delivery to uh, Murray is hitting the air to center. Into left center, it's Kirk Gibson. He's got it for out number one. Terry Crowley, the DH. Morris deals to him. And Crowley lines one. It goes down the right field line, and it's going to rattle around in the corner. Rick Leach has to go dig it out of there. Crowley around first. He'll cruise into second with a one-out double, and here's Lowenstein. Chance for the Orioles to get on the board. Morris the stretch, the pitch. And we have a defense check. That'll be a range check for left fielder. Uh, Steve Kemp, <clears throat> excuse me, Kemp's range is a B, 
And he's going to make the catch. For out number two, holding at second will be Crowley. And DeCince comes to the plate. The Baltimore third baseman, Morris, the stretch, the delivery to Doug. Is a base hit for Doug DeCince. Uh, into right field, old blooper drops in front. Uh, Rick Leach, Crowley around third. He's going to score. It's 11-1, to 1, Detroit. DeCince holds on at first, and here comes Dan Graham, the catcher. Morris, the stretch, the pitch to the Baltimore catcher is swung on by Graham and a little comebacker to Jack. He gloves it and flips to Richie Hebner at first for out number three. So in the second, the Orioles get a run on two hits. They leave one. And we go to the bottom of two. It's Detroit 11 and Baltimore 1. Mike Flanagan comes out for inning number two. He'll face Whitaker, Trammell, and Gibson. Flanagan kicks and delivers. And a base hit for Whitaker, and the hit parade continues. Trammell up there now. The Baltimore infield at double played up the stretch by Flanagan, and the delivery is... Going to be a wheelhouse result for Trammell, and he hits it to left and deep. Back goes Lowenstein, warning track, wall, and it's 13-1, to Tigers. The romp continues. Well, they responded to the Baltimore run in the top of the inning very quickly. Here's Flanagan dealing to Gibson. Kirk swings and hits it to right. Can of corn for Ken Singleton, and there's one down in the Tiger second. Steve Kemp comes to the plate. Flanagan deals to him. And a base hit for Kemp. This goes to right field. A 64 hopper to Ken Singleton. He gets it back in. And Richie Hebner comes up. Flanagan the stretch. The delivery to Hebner is swung on by Rich and popped up in fair territory. Doug DeCince calling and taking for out number two. And Champ Summers comes up. Flanagan deals to the left-handed hitting DH. And we have, well, no, I'm not going to do a rare play. So we're going to do this. And this will be ball four. He walks Summers two on with two outs for Detroit. And Lance Parrish comes to the plate. Two hits already on the day for Parrish. The stretch by Flanagan and the delivery. Is hit to right. Singleton into right. Center makes the catch for out number three. But in the second, the Orioles get two more on three hits. They leave two. Third inning coming up and your score. Detroit 13 and Baltimore 1. Game one of a best of three between these two teams. Sakata at the plate will be followed by Bumbry and Dower in the Orioles third inning. Morris deals to Lenny. And he draws a walk. Good start for the O's in inning number three. Bumbry comes up. Al is 0 for 1. The stretch by Morris and the delivery. Swung on and hit to right. Coming in is Rick Leach. He pounds the glove and makes the catch for out number one. Retreating to first is... Lenny Sakata, Rich Dower comes up now. He's 0 for 1. Morris, the stretch and the delivery. That is a base hit for Dower. That's going to be off the wall in left field. On one hop back to Steve Kemp. Sakata around second going to third. Dower goes into second with a double. And the Orioles have something going here in the third. Second and third with one out. Here's Kenny Singleton. Morris, the stretch, the pitch to the 0-for-1 Singleton. And it's a line drive caught by Lou Whitaker. Two down, and Murray comes to the plate. Clean up hitter for Earl Weaver. The stretch by Morris and the delivery to Murray. 
And hey, Strzok, yeah, uh, that is out number three. And we'll end the Baltimore third inning. They leave two in scoring position. We go to the bottom of the third. It's Detroit 13 and Baltimore 1. Mike Flanagan facing Rick Leach. The delivery is ball four. Rick trots down to first. That is the fifth walk issued by Baltimore Pitching. In three-plus innings, here's Brookins. The stretch by Flanagan, the pitch to Brookins. Hit to left. Into left center is John Lowenstein. He's got it for out number one. Leach retreats to first, and here's Lou Whitaker. Flanagan, the stretch, checks Leach and the delivery. Is a base hit for Whitaker. The hit parade continues uh, into center field. Stopping at second will be Leach. Two on with one out. Trammell coming to the plate. Flanagan the stretch. Trammell's three for three. The pitch by Flanagan. And it's swung on by Trammell and a base hit. More trouble for the Orioles. Stopping at third will be Leach. Stopping at second is Whitaker. The bases are dripping with Tigers. And here's Kirk Gibson. Infield at double played up. Flanagan the stretch and the delivery to Gibby. Is a line drive caught by Rich Dower. Two down for Detroit. And now Kemp. Lefty lefty matchup. The stretch by Flanagan. The pitch to the two for two, Steve Kemp. And I struck him out, and Baltimore barely escapes further disaster in the third inning. We go to the fourth. They get nothing. Uh, they leave him loaded. Two hits and a walk. We go to the fourth inning, and your score is Detroit 13 and Baltimore In one. the Baltimore fourth, it's Crowley, Lowenstein, and DeCincy. Five, six, seven for Earl Weaver. The wind-up by Morris and the delivery, and he strikes out Crowley. Second strikeout for Jack. And John Lowenstein comes up. He is 0 for 1. The wind-up and the delivery by Morris to Lowenstein is swung on by Lowenstein and bounced to Whitaker at second. Lou gloves it to his left, plants and throws to Ebner for out number two. Third baseman Doug Desense up there now. He has one of the Orioles' three hits. Morris winds and deals. And it's swung on and hit to Brookins at third. Tommy gloves it by the third base bag and fires across the diamond. For out number three, it's a one, two, three, fourth inning for Morris. We go to the bottom of four, and your score is Detroit 13 and Baltimore 1. Dave Ford takes over on the mound for uh, Mike Flanagan. Dave Ford 1 and 2 with a 653 earned run average for Earl Weaver in 1981. He's a right hander, and he'll face Hebner, Summers, and Parrish. For Sparky, the wind-up and the delivery, and he strikes out Ebner. Ford off to a good start. One down in the Tiger fourth. Here is Champ Summers. The wind-up by Ford and the delivery. Swung on by Summers and grounded to Dower at second. He flips to Murray, and there's two down in the Tiger fourth. Lance Parrish comes up. Ford kicks and deals to Parrish. And it's a little comebacker. One, one hop to Ford. He throws to Murray, and the Tigers are done in the fourth. First one, two, three inning for Baltimore pitching. We go to the fifth, and your score is Detroit 13 and Baltimore 1. Morris will face Graham, Sakata, and Bumbry in the Baltimore fifth inning. Morris kicks and deals to catcher Dan Graham, and he strikes him out. Third strikeout for Jack. 
He has now retired six in a row. Sakata comes to the plate. Lenny is no official trips. He walked back in the third. The pitch by Morris. And he walks again. Sakata trots down to first base. One on, one out for Baltimore. Here's Al Bumbry. The, the stretch by Morris and the delivery to Bumbry. Is drilled by Bumbry and it's trouble for Detroit. This is down the right field line. Leach has to go get it. Sakata around second. Going to third and Bumbry with a one out double. Two are in scoring position now. Rich Dower at the plate. Morris the stretch and the pitch to Rich. Uh, is hit to Brookins at third. Brookins is going to check Sakata at third and make the play to Hebner at first for out number two. Kenny Singleton comes to the plate now. He's 0 for 2. Orioles could use a hit here. The stretch by Morris and the delivery to the Orioles right fielder. And a struck him out. Number 4 for Jack Morris. The Orioles again leave 2. We're halfway through this one and your score is Detroit 13 and Baltimore 1. Dave Ford out for his second inning of work. And he will face Leach, Brookins, and Whitaker. 7-8-9 coming up for Sparky. The windup and the delivery is swung on by Leach and hit to DeSensei at third. Dug to his left, gloves it, and fires to Eddie Murray at first for out number one. Tom Brookins comes to the plate. Tom is one for three. Ford kicks and deals. And it's hit in the air to right. This will drive Singleton back a few steps, but he's got room and makes the catch for out number two. Here's Lou Whitaker. Five up and five down for Dave Ford. The pitch to Sweet Lou is a base hit for Lou Whitaker. Goes a hard grounder, goes into right field. Singleton collects it and throws it back in. Whitaker has a four for four day and he's accomplished it in only six innings of play. Here is Trammell who's also four for four. Ford the stretch and the pitch to Allen. Is swung on by Trammell and popped up. Doug DeSensei in fair territory takes it for out number three. We're going to the sixth inning, and your score is Detroit 13 and Baltimore 1. Morris will face Murray, Crowley, and Lowenstein. Eddie Murray is 0 for 2. The windup and the delivery by Jack Morris is hit to left. Steve Kemp comes in a step and makes the catch for out number one. Terry Crowley comes to the plate. He's one for two. The windup and the delivery by Morris to Crowley is a pop-up. Lou Whitaker on the infield dirt calling and taking for out number two. John Lowenstein comes up there now with nobody on base. He's 0 for two. Morris deals to him. And Lowenstein draws a walk. Two out walk, two out base runner for the Orioles. And DeSensei comes up. He's one for two. Mm, yeah, Morris the stretch and the pitch to the one for two Doug. And hey, struck him out on a bender. That retires the side for Baltimore in inning number six. Five and a half are in the books. It's Detroit 13 and Baltimore 1 in game one of this best of three series. We are shifting to Baltimore for game number two. And the opposing pitchers in that one are going to be Scotty McGregor and Dan Petrie. McGregor, the left-hander, going uh, for Baltimore, going against Petrie, the right-hander, at Memorial Stadium in Baltimore. 
All right, against Ford and Dave's third inning of work, it'll be Gibson, Kemp, and Hebner, a trio of left-handed sticks. Dave Ford winds and deals. And Gibson pops it up. Rich Dower in short center is taking it for out number one. Steve Kemp comes to the plate. Kemp is two for three. Ford deals to him. Kemp swings and hits it to center. Into left center is Bumbry, and he's got it for out number two. Richie Hebner comes up with nobody on base. Ford, the windup and the delivery, and he strikes out Hebner. Three solid innings of work for Dave Ford. His second strikeout, the sixth inning is done. In Detroit, we go to the seventh, and your score is the Tigers 13 and the Orioles 1. <clears throat> Morris will face Graham, Cicada, and the top of the order with Al Bumbry coming in the uh, Baltimore seventh. Jack Morris winds and deals to the 0 for 2, Dan Graham. He grounds it to second. This is Whitaker. On a hop, he gloves it and throws to Hebner for out number one. Lenny Sakata up there now. He's walked twice in two trips. Morris deals. Sakata grounds it to Trammell at short. Allen charges, throws on the run, and they get Sakata at first. For out number two. Now it's the one for three, Al Bumbry. Morris deals to the Orioles center fielder, and it's a ballpark result. It's going to be a wheelhouse for Bumbry. Let's see what he does with it. And that is hit to left. It's going to drive Kemp back to the track, but no further for out number three. Time to stretch him out in Detroit. Tigers in control of this one. They've got a 13-1 to 1 lead. Dave Ford is done after three innings of work. He allowed a hit. Uh, no walks. He struck out two. No runs. Good job by Dave Ford. The new Oriole pitcher is Tim Stoddard, the big right-hander. 31 games, seven saves. He was 4-2 and two with a three eighty six earned run average for Earl in 1981. He'll face Summers, Parrish, and Leach in the Tigers' seventh inning. The wind-up and the delivery by Stoddard to Summers. And he walks Champ. There's a man on with nobody out. Here's Lance Parrish as the Baltimore infield moves to double plate up. The stretch by Stoddard and the delivery to the Tiger catcher. That's a wheelhouse result, and that's a base hit for Parrish. Stopping at second will be Summers. Two are on with nobody out, and here's Leach. Tigers are looking for more. The stretch by Stoddard, the pitch to Rick Leach, and more trouble. This is a base hit for Leach. Goes into the gap in center. It's cut off deep in the gap by Bumbry. Summers around third. He's coming home. Going to third is Parrish. There's Tigers at the corners with nobody out in the... Uh, seventh here, Tippy Martinez throwing in the Baltimore bullpen. Brookins one for four. He's up there now. Infield is back. The pitch by Stoddard. And he strikes out Brookins. And boy, did he need it. One down in the Tigers seventh. Here is Lou Whitaker. Stoddard the stretch. Whitaker's got four hits. The pitch. Uh, and it's drilled by Whitaker, and it's going to be trouble. This gets into right field, and it's going to drop. Parrish scores. Leach around third. He's going to score. Whitaker into second with a double. It is now 16-1 to one Tigers in the bottom of the seventh. And Stoddard, well, we need a fatigued relief pitcher card now for Tim. <clears throat> They're not going to Tippy yet. 
The stretch by Stoddard and the delivery is going to be a patient result. And that's ball four. Well, now they got to go to him. Way, way, way out of hand. And here comes Earl. He's going to Tippy for a lefty lefty matchup with Kirk Gibson trying to keep the de the deficit at 15. The Tigers have busted out a spanking on the Orioles in this one. Our game tonight, Milwaukee at New York, Caldwell versus Guidry in the Bronx. A couple of lefties. First and second with one out here is Tippy Martinez. 1981, he was 3-3 three and three with a 290 earned run average. He's facing Gibson. The delivery by Tippy and a base hit for Kirk Gibson. This will go to right field. Singleton on it in a hurry. Whitaker stops at third. Trammell stops at second. The bases are loaded. And here's Steve Kemp. The stretch by Tippy and the pitch to Kemp. Uh, swung on by Kemp and hit to left. Under it is Lowenstein. He's got it for out number two, and now Hebner comes to the plate. Chance for the Orioles to get out of the inning, but the Tigers have batted around again. The pitch by Tippy and the delivery is a base hit for Hebner. They're not going to get out of the inning. This will score two. And that means Whitaker scores and Trammell scores. Two-run single for Hebner. And it is now 17-1. to one. Champ Summers comes to the plate against Tippy. He walked to start the carnage in the seventh. The pitch. Uh, is going to be a wheelhouse result for Champ. He swings and hits it to left. Over by the foul line is Lowenstein, and he's got it for out number three. But in the seventh, the Tigers put up a five spot, and it's now, yeah, it's now 18 to one. We go to the eighth. Morris. Well. I, know. I was going to get some guys some work, but Morris is going to keep going. Dower, Singleton, and Murray coming up for Baltimore in the eighth. Morris deals. Uh, swung on by Rich and bounced to Hebner at first. He's going to take it to the bag. Unassisted for out number one. Kenny Singleton is 0 for 3. Morris deals. Uh, Singleton hits it to Brookins at third. Tom gobbles it up to his left and fires to Hebner for out number two. Eddie Murray comes up. He's 0 for 3. Morris has only allowed four hits. The pitch to the Orioles' first sacker is a little comebacker to Morris. Jack gloves it, throws to Hebner, and the Orioles are done in the eighth. We go... Or, we go to the bottom of the eighth, and your score is Detroit 18 and Baltimore 1. Parrish, Leach, and Brookins coming up for the Tigers in the eighth. Earl Weaver is going to be very glad to get out of Detroit. The pitch to Parrish. Hey, struck him out. One down in the Tiger eighth. Here's Leach. Rick is two for three. The pitch. Uh, swung on by Leach and hit to center. Coming in a few steps is Bumbry, and he's got it for out number two. Now it's Tommy Brookins. The pitch to the one for five Brookins. And he strikes out Brookins for out number three. Tigers are done in the eighth. We go to the ninth. Almost ready to fly to Baltimore with your score. The Tigers 18 and the Orioles 1. Morris going to try and finish a complete game here. 
He'll face Crowley, Lowenstein, and DeSensei for Earl Weaver. The pitch by Morris, and he walks Crowley. Coming up now, it's Lowenstein, the Orioles' left fielder. He is 0 for 2. Morris, the stretch and the delivery. And he strikes out Lowenstein, number 6 for Jack. One down in the ninth. DeSensei up there now. <clears throat> Doug is one for three. Morris, the stretch. And the delivery to the Baltimore third baseman is hit to shortstop. And that's gloved by Trammell. He's going to go to Whitaker for one, and that's all they're going to get. And with two outs, Dan Graham comes to the plate. The last chance saloon for Earl Weaver. Sakata would be next. The pitch by Morris to Graham is hit to right. In his tracks is Rick Leach, and he's got it for out number three. And the Tigers have won game one of the best of three series. Let's give you the totals on this one. My goodness, this was a whooping. For the homestanding and victorious Detroit Tigers, 18 runs. Twenty one hits, and I don't believe they committed any errors. They did not. Baltimore one run on just four hits, and they committed no errors. Uh, Palmer takes the loss, Morris gets the complete game victory. Player of the game. Well, there's a lot of Guys, you could go with, you could go with Morris for shutting down a good Baltimore attack. But I'm going to go with Lou Whitaker for a five for five day uh, with three ribbies, three runs scored, a double and a triple. And some good defensive work as well. All right, so that's going to do it for game one. We now go to game to Baltimore for game two. Petrie and McGregor will pitch, and that one will be a must win for Baltimore, or they are done. And Detroit looking to close out the series. In the meantime, tonight at 6 Central, Caldwell versus Gidry will be in the Bronx for the Brewers at the Yankees. Hope you'll join me for that one. Uh, and don't forget to check out channel membership. The link is in the description for this video. Payoff Pitch Baseball. More of it coming up later today. Hope you'll join me. In the meantime, have a great Mother's Day. So long, everybody.